So there's been a lot of speculation. There's been some funky math to make it look like they have sold or make it look like they have not sold over 10 million consoles since launch. But Sony made it official. They announced this. And this is basically a press release for investors. But once they announce it, you, you know that it has to be true. They've announced that they've managed to sell more than 10 million PlayStation 5 since launch. And this isn't the big news. The big news is that they've managed to do it faster than any console in Sony Interactive Entertainment history. That includes the PlayStation 2. And I want you to think about that for a second. The PlayStation 2 sold over 155 million units. They've managed to sell more than the PlayStation 5 day and date faster than that product, faster than the PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 3, even faster than the PlayStation 4 and the enormous start that that product had. So the PlayStation 5 has cemented the fact that console gaming is here to stay. Not only is it here, but it is thriving. It's actually doing better than it ever has before. And you really got to take it to them for what they've managed to do in such a short amount of time. And what they've managed to pull off in a shortage like this is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's unbelievable to think about it. I mean, you think back to the PlayStation 2. It was the cheapest DVD player. There were tons of them on the market. And so far with the PlayStation 5 and this shortage, they've managed to sell more in a quicker amount of time than the PlayStation 2, than any PlayStation product in their history. So when these consoles become readily available, when bundles start, when holiday deals start, I cannot imagine how quickly these consoles are going to fly off the store shelves and something to look forward to is the holiday rush what will sony have in store for the holidays and starting off with ratchet and clank rift apart and this game here returnal gamers are responding they want this system and it's just incredible when you think about it i mean i can't believe that the playstation 5 is selling more in its short time frame than any PlayStation console in history. Think about that for a second, than any console in history. In the middle of this shortage, in the middle of no PlayStations to be found anywhere, in the middle of scalpers buying them up and then selling them for ridiculous prices, people still want PlayStation. And you can't deny they've built up that brand loyalty on the back of nothing but quality video games. It really has nothing to do with anything else other than quality first party studios that deliver quality first party content the big question now is what can microsoft do to combat this momentum what can they do to get gamers to look their way beyond game pass because clearly and this isn't to take a shot at microsoft or game pass i have both but clearly it's not enough to quell the thirst that the majority of console gamers around the world have for the playstation brand and the PlayStation 5. However, Microsoft's first party is just beginning to hit with Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then you have Psychonauts 2, and then of course, by the end of the year, hopefully, fingers crossed, Halo Infinite not only launches, but it is an actual great, great game. And I think that will help push some more consoles in Microsoft and Xbox favor, but, at this point, selling 10 million this quickly and no end in sight to the demand and the thirst for this product, I think it's safe to say that the dominant choice this generation all around the world for console gamers, first and foremost, is going to be PlayStation when you talk PlayStation or Xbox. And something to remember, famously, Peter Moore, who in my estimation was the greatest leader that Xbox ever had, famously said, the first one to 10 million wins. And what he meant by that is that if you get 10 million consoles out there in gamers' hands, then developers start to notice it, third-party developers notice it, they want their games on that platform because more people have it, there are more people leading word of mouth to their friends because more people have the console, 
once you get to that number things start to roll downhill and you pick up more and more momentum and you sell more and more into those pivotal holiday seasons so no matter where you stand on this it is official sony has announced that playstation 5 has sold more than 10 million units worldwide faster than any other console in their history or history so huge success for the playstation 5 there's only great things to come when their first party actually starts to create games and building with that hardware in mind we saw great things on the playstation 1 when they did that the playstation 2 certainly the playstation 3 and the playstation 4 had some great first party exclusives that pushed the system beyond what you thought was capable on a console and i'm sure we're going to see that this generation from their first party as well playstation to 10 million what do you think let me know in the comment section below think about liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next video